Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights, welcome back. Today we are doing Will You Reconcile and I wanted to use two heavier decks for this reading today. So we have the Arisha Tarot um, as you know Brazil holds a massive place in my heart because uh, my kids uh, are half Brazilian and my husband is from Brazil, believe it or not, with my kids being half Brazilian. So anything to do with Arishas and Santeria etc etc absolutely love um so i feel like i want to use that deck for deck number one and deck number two i haven't used in forever now one of you guys bought me this deck when when i first started the channel and this is a marielle tarot um and it's a beautiful beautiful deck also so we're going to use it's just a bit big it's a hard shuffling one where i don't use it very often we're going to use these two decks today um, and get the energy flowing in and growing and we're going to find out if you guys will reconcile so deck number one the Arisha's tarot deck number two the mariel tarot pick the deck that you are most drawn to very interesting that spirit drew me to the more red decks now you can't see but on the box of the mariel it is red uh, root chakra activated which is saying both of these decks are looking for the stability and security from this connection okay root chakra activated <laughs> And once your spirit can read my energy, they make me go, <gasps> catch my breath. And once you pick the deck that you're most drawn to, we're going to get going with deck number one. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay, so if you want to look at situations individually, uh, look at your individual situation, you can just give me a shout, Mystic Love Tarot. I am currently on maternity leave, but I will still be responding to messages. Um, when I can, when I am not 100% sleep deprived um, and I am still doing occasional uh, what they call kit days, which is keeping in touch day, but it just means like the odd day I will be working. So I can still help out if you need me. So let's have a look. Are you and the person you're asking about going to reconcile? Let's get your overall energy. Okay. So I got the devil card jump out. Now, those of you that know me know I'm a little bit of a, or used to be a little bit of a rocker. Can you imagine it? I used to be a little bit of a rocker. Um, and not to freak you out, but I got this song by Slipknot, The Devil and I. Now, I don't specifically know the lyrics of that. I just know because The Devil and I. <laughs> um, so maybe we will have a quick look on Google to get those specific lyrics for you. Will you reconcile? Let's just get one more. So the cards that you've got, the Devil, the Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man, Ace of Wands and the Emperor. So let's just have a look at Slipknot. I'm just doing an edit at the moment. So I paused that video because <laughs> I was there looking through the lyrics and I was trying to understand what specifically was being meant. And what it's the song, the seven, song isn't the Devil and I, it's the Devil in I. And what it talks about is kind of the darker shadow aspects of things that we are going through. Um, so kind of a bit like Lilith and Eve, it is the shadow aspects of the relationship so what we've got over here with the reconciliation the devil your person is still from that song quite angry over the situation hold on to on to quite a bit of toxicity but also with the devil card here it talks about addictions and it talks about the connection between the two of you um and spirit just gave me the song a bit of a higher frequency one i will, the chain by fleetwood mac we will never break the chain and the two of you will always kind of come back together and I feel that you've done this kind of maneuvering energy and um, I talk about a helix when it comes to higher frequency relationships how you wave in and out of each other's lives and that is what has been happening here okay so even though things are a little bit to shit at the moment your person will come back and you will have that opportunity to reconcile but the uh, spirit just also said still waters run deep everything's got to cool down first the dust has got to settle um and then you can see if there's a way that this relationship can heal. So you have got the chance of a reconciliation with your person, but it needs healing time first. OK, so individual timings. Again, we can look out through individual readings. We've got the seven of cups over here for the sense of confusion that comes from this. Your person feeling a little bit lost, a little bit stuck, unsure on how to progress. And again, holding on to resentment, feeling that, you know, it takes two hands to clap. But I'm just looking at it from your person's perspective. They're just feeling like they didn't do anything wrong, though you will totally disagree with that. Um, they're just thinking about it from their perspective. They're not seeing it from the shoe on the other foot. Um, and that can take healing time as well, especially if you guys are wanting an apology. Sometimes apologies don't come through that. 
Hanged Man coming up as well. Um, oh, also with the Seven of Cups, Spirit saying digging, uh, digging your own, digging your own grave, and what they mean by that is an old, old British saying. I want to say is that you've made your bed lie in it. Okay, so they're feeling a bit sorry for themselves as well. We got the Hanged Man stuck by the situation, unsure how to progress it forward, and um, having that downtime to give him the biggest epiphanies. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Empress popping in at the end there, okay? So even though this is all a bit heavy over here, this side we have the light, we have growth, we have progression, we have things healing, um, we have new adventures, new avenues going on and new beginnings, okay? New birth, birth to new life. Now, whether this is with your person or if you're interested in something a bit different, that's going to be down to you. And with it being red again, root chakra activated, we have this... Um, stability that will come from this whichever pathway you decide what i want to say to you is that there will be a path of reconciliation there will be the opportunity but is it something that you are going to want to take at that point in time and that will be down to you guys okay now if you need me for individual readings remember that is your collective energy you can do so let me just recap waving in and out of each other's lives having that energy that comes with that um Feeling a little, they're feeling a bit stuck in the toxic side of things. They felt they've made their bed, they're lying in it, and they don't really know what to do about the situation, so they're not doing anything. With the devil card, the likely energy is that addiction will come back round and they will get back in touch with you. And from there, you guys have got the opportunity to work things out and progress things together. Um, but equally, at the same time, if you're after something new and something different, you can attain that. Um, so you have to choose what is healthy and right for you. Okay, what feels best for you, that's where you need to place your energy. And in fact, I know this is such a heavy reading, so I'm going to just, for those of you that don't know, you all know that I am a Swifty, just to irritate you that aren't. And I'm just going to pull you one of these, um, just for a little bit of advice with regards to what you can do about the situation. So we've got the High Priestess jump out over here. The song that says, the, the tomb won't close, stained glass windows in my mind. So the door is still open between the two of you. I'm gonna sneeze, it's allergies. Excuse me. Um, the door is still open between the two of you. It is still there. Um, stained glass windows, you know, they, they have been hurt by the past. The, the pieces of it are jigsaw pieces kind of being put back together. But it's really important that you guys follow your own intuition on this and it will see you right, it will see you through. So do what you feel is right for you okay chance to reconcile yes is it the right thing for you that is going to be down to your individual circumstances and if you need me we can look at that privately okay so let's scoot over to deck number two so we are doing a little bit of a heavy energy reading today guys because we are looking about you and your person that you're asking about whether you're going to reconcile the energy between you both um so let's see what comes up Will you reconcile? Heavier energy, heavier dax. Um, but it feels the right thing for us to be looking at today. Will you reconcile? And again, remember, it is a collective reading. So if you need me for individual readings, you can just give me a message. Give me a shout. I am on maternity at the moment, but I am still around. Um, just might take me a little while to respond. So bear that in mind. Okay. Overall, we have got a reconciliation happening with you guys. So deck number two is an absolute yes, there is reconciliation here. Uh, so let's start off the cards. You've got Hereford, Three of Cups, Justice, Four of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords. Really good. So I feel like I want to start here with the Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. New beginnings and an absolute yes. There's a celebration that comes from that. We're asking the question specifically, will you reconcile? And the answer specifically is yes romantic new beginnings and a happy outcome feel that you might go to a social occasion where you might see them and that could be a good opportunity for some of you guys to reconcile if not it's just this kind of calming energy that comes with it we've got the knight of swords jumping in to say communication is coming in from your person and um, now when it comes to communication with them it's really important with the hierophant over here that you guys speak your truth and that they speak their truth um, and once you've done that this can all be brushed under the carpet still kind of kept in your mind um forgiving and forgetting 
two very difficult emotions to kind of deal with when people hurt you but there can be peace that can be found okay so even if you can't forgive and can't forget that's fine you don't have to do either um but it is important that you kind of find that inner peace and with the hierophant this is a communicating your truth if you communicate your truth you will find that inner peace with one another or with regard to the situation feels like the energy has been sucked from you with regard to this you've been thinking about it a lot it's been going through your mind um and you haven't known how to place the energy. You haven't known what to do about it all. And you've kind of been ruminating, having these heavier thoughts on it. What's the right pathway? What choice do I make? What decision do I do? What pathway do I go down? Um, I feel like, you know, some of you guys might want to do some writing. When we start writing things, it like gets out of our head. And I'm a, I'm a writer for Witches Magazine. And, and I feel like when we start writing things, it's putting it on paper and it kind of leaves our physical body. So sometimes to release energy, it's a really good idea to write stuff down. So you might want to write your truth down. And when the point comes to that reconciliation and, you know, they communicate with you and say, oh, let's talk it through. Let's see what happens. You've then still got everything written down that you actually wanted to say in the first place and you can bring it up and that will give you the peace. OK, quite an urgent communication coming in from your person. They are going to urgently communicate their truth. You might find that they are a bit shitty to begin with. But like I said, uh, still waters run deep and things will calm down. It will calm. OK, there will be a sense of calm that comes from this. So it might be a bit hoity toity to begin with. And then the celebration kind of happens over here with the four of swords in reverse, where any energy is stagnant and you have this healing time at the moment, it will be released. And again, that communication will happen so that you can choose whether you want to move forward with this um, or whether you want to kind of just let it be. Two choices overall. You, you release the situation, you surrender it or you move forward with it. OK, those are your two choices, really, as your collective. Again, it's your collective reading individually. There might be more options, but right now that is where you're at. OK, there's growth, there's calming, there's beautiful energy. Now, justice over here. What I want to just say with this is all is fair in love and war. OK, so if this person has wronged you and they haven't seen the error of their ways, they will. OK, karmic energy will be restored. She might just be sharpening her nails a little bit. So who hurt you? That energy will come back round. And I just got the song coming around again. The ginger cat has just walked into my garden. Uh, cats always symbolise the female, the feline side of things, the beautiful, powerful energy that you guys are. So just bear in mind that you are this divine energy. You have got all the tools that you need. Don't, you know, sharpen your claws if you want to kind of get ready to pounce. Time to sharpen your claws. Time to communicate your truth. You don't need to be an asshole, nasty or bitchy about it. But sometimes we have to speak our truth and draw healthy boundaries in all relationships and connections. And I feel that this is a good one for you to be looking at. And that, my loves, is deck number two. So if you need me, drop me a message. Like I said, I am on maternity leave at this point in time. I will be back uh, soon, <laughs> kind of soon, nine months off. Um, but if you need me in between, I will be working occasional days. So just let me know. Lots of love, darlings, and I'll speak to you later.